Let's do that. Um, welcome, welcome to our live stream from our secret nest, and I'm in, in Iceland. It's in Iceland. That's right. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Because it's so chilly here. It is. It is. Yeah. The quality of the light. Exactly. Yeah. Um, can we get you something to drink? Yes. What would you like? Yes. Do you have coffee? No. Good. Yeah. Give me alcohol. Do you have any? <laughs> yeah. Do you like a glass of rosé? Yeah. Oh, thanks, Kat. I saw right. wine glasses. I know you girls. <laughs> oh, so you started early. Charlotte. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to get your last name right. Block. Oh, Charlotte, my friend who's a doctor who's in Europe right now. Hello, Hello from morning. near oh. Amsterdam. She's, ha she's having glasses of wine, too. People from all over. Well, it's a reasonable time to be drinking in Amsterdam. That's it's reasonable <laughs> here, too. Okay, I'll have, a, I'll have one of these. Absolutely. She's an amazing brain, Miss Charlotte is. She is super smart. She's a doctor. And she works with children, and she's fabulous. And she says hello to you. Hello. And she came over to visit um, from Europe with her best friend in the summertime, and we got to meet up and have a coffee and a visit. And she was going all down the West Coast, and lovely to see you. And happy belated birthday. It was just your birthday like a week or two ago. So, and I, I sent you a message, but just happy birthday again. Brilliant. Yeah. Awesome. awesome. I will. We'll go back. Hi, Marilyn. <laughs> nice to see you. Thanks so much for coming by Thanks. and being our yes. guest here and uh, and sharing with us. Okay, your, there it is. I know this has been a work in progress for a long time, na, na, but yeah. Na, na, now, na, na. we might, you know what, I'm going to go na, right. Na, na. Oh, you want to do that? Thank you. Well, I had to go and find it. Tell me when you can see it. Tell me when you can see it. And beautiful, writing woman's history, starting with your, your mother. mother. So tell us about uh, this All book. Us. Okay, so this is the book. This is the workbook okay. um, for the My Mother's Story Project, which I started in 2004. Okay. Because, um, uh, okay, I'll just give you a little thing yeah, about yeah. that. So as an actor, I, want to hear I was really bored and frustrated with the roles for women. Yeah. Um, I that I was auditioning for, but I also worked as a story editor with um, film scripts and play scripts. Hey, hey, hey. Hi. Hi. there you are. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you. Yeah, nice to see you. Um, and so I was editing other like so I had a whole lot of stories around. Yeah, no. I was reading stories all over the place. Um, scripts, and the women were like. They they were just two dimensional. They they were there were not very many. Now this is a good thing to understand too to understand the difference between two thousand four and now. Mm -hmm. It's been a huge explosion and change in yeah. women's stories being told. But mostly uh, women were there would be five men and one woman. Mm -hmm. And when you're the actor and you are auditioning, it's like you, you know there was all of us. Yeah. And we were all waiting, and there were no roles. So um, I was at a wedding, and a friend was uh, telling me a story. We were waiting for the reception to start. And she said, oh, well, to understand what I mean, you have to know my mother's story. Mm -hmm. And she said, my mother was born in England this year, and this is her parents were like this, and then they came to Canada, and then this happened, and then that happened, and then this happened. And, then, you know, and it was this like, really fascinating story. Mm -hmm. um, but when I was listening to her, I thought, I wonder if I could do that. I wonder if I could tell my mother's story yeah. as simply as that. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So I said, I, you know, I didn't even pay attention to what she, you know, I said, okay, here's my mother's story back at you. And I, and I had never really told stories about my mom. She, she would not have a plot driven uh, story. It's more character driven. You know, if we were calling it a script. Mm. Uh, so I had to think, okay, well, what would the next important event be? What happened next that was important? What happened next? What was unique? What was interesting? As we look at scripts, we're always looking for that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and then I got to the end of the story. My mother was still alive. And I thought, oh, you know, okay. That was an interesting exercise. It was, you know, ordinary. My friend said that was fascinating. She'd never heard anything like it. Yeah. 
And I just thought, we do not value the familiar. Mm. We do not value the unique mm. story that we are living with. And looking at, okay, our relationship with our mothers, this is a big part of it, but how much does the silence around women's lives have to do with the fact that we cannot tell the stories of our mothers? Mm -hmm. Maybe we're not telling the stories and that's why they are not being told out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. And I was looking at all these women at the wedding and I was thinking, well, you know, what's the stories of these people? You hear it at the, you know, the bride and the groom and this is how they met. And everybody's got those stories. Mm -hmm. How did mom meet dad? Ah, you know. So I went home and I sent email. A few days later, I sent emails to my, I start, I thought, okay, sociology experiment. This is going to be women actors in Vancouver. Little group. If nothing comes, it'll be a sociology experiment. And, so, you know, we'll have a few laughs. Um, I said, and I was duplicating that kind of co the conversation we had, which it turns out is a character arc of a person. Mm -hmm. And this is something that we do in uh, when we're looking at plays and screenplays. Well, is the actor, right? The actor, there's the, all of those characters, but you are just following one line. It's like following one thread through a tapestry. Yeah. And you just go, what happened next? And then, then a, and you don't really concern yourself with all the other stories that are going on around it. You just say, okay, what's this? So I said, okay, write your mother's story, send it to me. You, and so just the facts from beginning to end where uh, you are just a footnote. So you are not the main person. <laughs> yeah. They and give birth to me. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> absolutely. And have it less than 2,000 words. Cool. And so that email got spread around and around and around and around. I think probably 300 people saw it, something like that. That was our mm -hmm. estimate. And I thought that the stories that would come back would be kind of like my mom's because we were all in the same mm -hmm. profession. And here we are in Canada. And we don't have like cultural problems, you know, whatever. My peers, they we would be the same. No. No, 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 no. Not at all. Not at all. And and the first story that came in was uh, Julia Arcos. And like it was like that day. She just whipped it off and sent it to me. And and Julia is a, a, an actor here mm -hmm. and her mother was mm -hmm. like the story was in Hungary mm -hmm. and she the her mother lived with her grandparents because her mom and dad had a, a, a circus act that toured with a knife throwing act <laughs> so they had to she had to grow up with the grandparents who had the bakery and then she became a prima ballerina in Russia Wow. And ran off with her husband, who became her husband, um, and he was an actor, and they had to escape from commu the communists. When they found their, her father, after the war, with it showed, suddenly showed up uh, with a new circus and a new wife, um, because he had had the amnesia and, in the war and had gone to Russia. And came back with the and then they had in the middle of the night they had to escape and go uh, and lived in a prison in Vienna. Um, see, I know all the details of this. And then they ended up in Winnipeg because wow. and and oh and then Julia was born. It was like okay, okay, so that's not right. There, you know, all these stories, every single story that I've had has been absolutely unique, and it's. I, what I, occurs to me is that our mothers, especially going through the 40s, you know, this is, this, is, this is the women of the 20th century. That's when they grew up, right? They wanted to or felt it necessary that they appeared to live the same life as everybody else. Everybody wanted to fit in. And the 50s were so rigid, you know, for expectations for people. That had very little to do with what was actually going on. So that's when I started asking and I thought, okay, so then the next thing on this, I'm getting all these fabulous stories. Nobody else knows. And there were people going, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. 
So I said, okay, we're going to have um, a meeting at my house and come over and read your story. And so people who hadn't written, they came and listened. And that's something else entirely. That is a, an entirely different exercise. For people to listen? To listen. Because to stories that are being told. There's, it's oxytocin, mm -hmm. which is not oxycotton. Yes, it is. It's <laughs> no, it's, it's definitely not. It took, took me a long time. <laughs> and when women um, share stories and feel heard, oxytocin just goes through. It's, um, it's quite amazing when you start comparing notes on you, you, we, it, the, the, we are witnessing someone who is being a witness for someone else. And we can see the mother and we can, we are with the daughter. Mm -hmm. So we've had uh, stories from men and women because we're all talking about a woman somewhere. And uh, this is the launch of the book now. So we created, well, we were all actors. So we said, oh, we have to put on a show. <laughs> and so we created, it was Jen Griffin and I. Jen came and said, I know how to do this on stage. And so, and we collaged, we had the first show we did, had 20 women on stage at the Beaumont studio. And they were all telling their stories at the same time. And uh, we created nine different shows. And then we published the first book, which was the originals, which was, it's 39 stories written by women actors in Vancouver. Um, the next book that we uh, published was is um, My Mother's Story, North Vancouver. We were commissioned by uh, Presentation House to create a show for their theater, their community. So I had workshops uh, all around North Van, and people wrote their stories and submitted them. We chose eight to go on stage, and we published a book of 41 of those stories. And... Um, so it, what it feels like now is that that has been the proving ground. That has been 14 years of developing the proof of concept, or as it were, of this. And now um, with this book, this and this book has got questions. It's got some history, something, questions to answer, exercises. Um, what, what, with this now, we are going into the world. We have an online archive, uh, and we also have that archive is also copied into the digital repository at Lender College. So it's mm -hmm. kind of safe in the vault, uh, as well as the online one that people can access at any time. And you can submit your story, you can submit it anonymously. Or have, oh. it, have it written and not, we can take out the names, identifying names so that the story is told. Where can somebody get this? So at Biz Books. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Marilyn, this is amazing. Yeah. This is amazing. It's such a gift. It's um, a gift. I, I was listening as well as trying to tweet and spread yes. the word as well and, and juggle a few things here. So uh, we'll, do you have that on, do you know if Biz Books has that on the website? Oh, yeah. It yeah. is there? Yeah. Okay. Are you gonna I'll post it on Talk Classic Chic right now. Perfect. Yeah. So then all our viewers then how can you know yeah, how can you buy it? You yeah, can go on to this books. Kat's gonna provide the link. So you said you're gonna put it where? On I uh, just put it in the attachment into the live stream comments. Just perfect right here. And Excellent. Now we're gonna have a launch. Ooh, party. Yeah. You can come. Ooh. You can come. Thank you. Um <laughs> December twelfth. Yeah. Evening, it's Wednesday night. We're going to have it at Unity. Uh, that's at Oaken 42nd. Okay. And um, starting at 7:30, I'll have a lot of the. I'll have the books that. This is the. This is the proof that we've got. Okay. So they're all, um, because we have the nonprofit society, uh, Mothership Story Society, uh, yeah. is the publisher, and we're self-publishing. So I have learned through this whole thing, learning. Publishing and marketing yeah. and and online workshops and online sales and oh my god <laughs> all the other stuff all the <laughs> other stuff it's just it's yeah. so much um, 
more fun than waiting around for someone to hire me to be an actor. <laughs> right? Yes, great. Right. Great. Right. Great. Right. Right. We can relate to that. Not yeah. waiting around. Yeah. 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 I just want yeah. every anything to do so I'm not waiting around. Yeah. Oh right. my god. Putting the things on tape. Yeah, come on. Just whatever. Yeah. 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 Find me. Find me and I like come and be in your show. Yeah. Something. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Absolutely. Good for you. This is extraordinary. So what are your questions then? You've answered so many of them. I mean, mm -hmm. that's, this is brilliant. And so when someone writes their mother's story, what mm -hmm. are they going to do with it? Well, you, it's up to you. Um, I advocate just sitting down and seeing what you would say. If you were actually going to write it, like what would you say you could do it in two hours? You sit down and just... Start at the beginning, go to the end. Don't worry about style or themes or like any of that stuff. It just gets in the way anyway. Um, see what you have and see what you miss. It's a very different experience to detach from your mother in that way and see her as another uh, woman living her life and making decisions. Then you will ha know uh, if you have questions that need to be answered. You can ask your mom if she's still living. You can ask other family members. You can ask family friends that you haven't been in touch with for a long time. Maybe get photographs from them or stories that you didn't even know. You can, uh, it's, if your mom's alive, please read your story to your mom when you're ready. Oh, wow. Um, and uh, and have uh, the other people in your family read it. Siblings will not write the same story. Of course, oh, yeah. they have a very different relationship because it, you're, none of you are writing the definitive story. You're writing your memories right now. Yeah. Two thousand words means it's about three and a half pages. You can fit a lot into that, but you can't fit everything. So you have to decide what's the story I want to tell. In the book, I had to come up with all these other ways of looking at it because I've been doing a lot of workshops or, or you know, talking about it with people. And everybody comes at it from their own angle. Like I tell them the same thing and then they cut. They, they, and they, this is like been from the very beginning. The actors would like send me these things back and I go, okay, it fits the rules, but, you know, poems and plays and uh, you know, all these different kinds of ways of um, talking about things. Um, then you can submit it to the archive, have it there. And so other people, you can send the link then to your friends and say, here it is. We have had workshops of Write Your Mother's Story, My Mother's Day, so that uh, you can have it there. All of that is free. It's you know, submit for free. You give it to us free. We, you hold the copyright, all of that kinds of things. Um, and then I'm not sure. Then it's like uh, certainly within a group, that was the amazing thing that I found, discovered with the actors and also with uh, the people in North Vancouver because they weren't actors and they just, it wasn't about, we don't know story any better. Mm. And our mothers don't have more theatricality or, you know, different lives. They're, they're all different no matter what. And people can do this. Most people will not do it. Most people will go, this is a really great idea for somebody else. Mm -hmm. And most people are too busy. And, but that's, and that's one of the things from working in Vancouver and, doing the workshops and doing what I can. Um, it, it's that I'm fine with that. I don't have to convince everyone that this is something they have to do. But it's now my goal is to have a broader reach because there's people who are waiting for it in the same way that I just put it out to actors and said, and, you know, 30 women wrote back and said, okay. Of course. Mm -hmm. of there's course. people who have to do it. Yeah, and that and and now so now there's a place to put the story. Yes. You know, you got the assignment, and you have a deadline, and you have uh, a goal. So go. Yeah, yeah. 
That's how I feel. I feel like I have to do it. I'm writing yeah. my mother's story right now. Yeah, we had quite a uh, nice conversation yeah. about that. Yeah, I reached out to Mary and I was like, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to start. And your advice was amazing. You said, well, just, you know, because I'm incorporating my story with her story. And you said, just, just write her story in 2,000 words. And it was so helpful to make it, to make that part of it just succinct, you know, and yeah. get to it. And separate. Yeah. Separate from you. And then put you back in. Yeah. 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 It's all, you know, so our helpful. heads, it's like a hoarder's house. <laughs> really. <laughs> our heads, it's like, yeah. uh, and it's all, and, and your mom is in so many parts of your memories. She's, like yeah. things about her, it's like when you, when you do it, you really feel like there's, things coming from all different parts of your brain to try to put it into one coherent thing on a page. It's true. It's true. I really struggled with it because it was it was like a prism of memories. There you go. That's a nice image. That's what it was. Yeah. A, a prism of my childhood. And so I couldn't even start. Yeah. So to have a goal and a deadline, and I'm doing wet ink, right? Yeah. And with, um, right now with Liesl Lafferty. Yeah. Hi, Liesl. I hope you're watching. Um, and all these amazing people, Susan McFarland, all yeah. these amazing. And I did it with Jen Griffin yeah. before. Um, it's it's such a an amazing platform for women to come together and and learn about playwriting, but also have deadlines to come and have their work read. Yeah. Um, that I'm I'm making some progress on it. <laughs> it's been it's a struggle, right? I mean, she passed away when I was twelve, so that's right. Yeah. So that's I my intention was to tell her story. Yeah. And then everybody was like, we want to hear about, you know, the woman who survived and how she did and all that. So I've gotten some advice to um, fictionalize part of the story, which I'm struggling with because I have this recording of my mother's voice. That's right. Yeah. That um, that's 45 minutes long. It's a speech she gave to the doctors and nurses at the Cross Cancer Institute in Edmonton. And I've transcribed it word for word. And that's the centerpiece of my play. Um, so um, fictionalizing any part of it is, I'm trying to get there. Like I'm, my, I'm looking at what Jill Dawn did. Yeah. And she fictionalized, you know, a play about a, a man with Alzheimer's. Yeah. Which would be an extremely story that's extremely close to her. Yeah. Um, so that that would be my model if I were to do that. It's an it's an interesting thing because you know in movies they, they it's based on true facts, based on a true story. And when you're putting the life story into two thousand words, really you're cutting out all the boring bits. Hmm. So you're just going yeah 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 like you know it's so in the in the movies it's like they don't do and then this happened then. You know, just like cut to the chase, put the put the grandfather in the car right now. Yes, he wasn't there, but you know, we'll we'll get those two story points in together and we'll get rid of them and you know move on to the car chase. Um, whatever. Um and and it is there's some validity to that. And it could be that your mother's speech was is the framework. Like are you draw are you um, writing the trellis or are you um, writing the vines? It could be that once it, the story's there, you can take that speech out. But it certainly needs to be there to support all of the thoughts and all of the feelings that you're trying to comb through right now. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to honor her message in the, in the speech. And it was 1979. <sighs> And she was 36 wow. and she had five kids yeah. that were young. Yeah. And her the central message is wanting a place to come together to talk about what she's going through. So it's a call for group therapy, yeah. which didn't exist. I just want to do a really uh, quick shout out to those that are joining us now. So I see the numbers are, are going up and... Uh, um, if you're just joining us, uh, well, our guest right now is Marilyn Nori, a uh, fabulous actor, but also creator of uh, this book and the project, mm -hmm. which I have a link to in our chat. You can go onto our uh, Facebook page as well and uh, 
See yeah. that there? Yeah. 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 All of it. Yeah. Yeah. Chocolate chip cookie. Oh my gosh. Um, chip. And she, uh, so she's uh, gracing us with her time and telling us about this book, which is available to buy. As I said, and there's a link. There's a donated book for your fundraiser. Oh, thank hey, you, Marilyn. Yes. Yay, she's yeah. donating one book. We have some great prizes and incentives thank that you. we're going to be raffling off throughout the day. I'm going to buy a coffee. I'm going to purchase one with my own money because I want one. Um, I'll save you the shipping. Thank well, you. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. So you can buy it online, or you might be uh, a winner uh, if you donate. Um, how do you donate? You go to our PayPal account, um, and the link to that PayPal account is in the description below this video. So if you look there, you'll see it. You'll also see a, see a link to our uh, email address, which is info at classicchic.ca. If you want to do an e-transfer instead, if you don't have a credit card and you prefer to do it that way, we can take donations that way. Um, PayPal, you don't have to have a PayPal account in order to donate. You can just donate as long as you have a credit card or a Visa debit card. You can do it that way. But all that information is below the description. Um, you can like this live stream. I see that we have 13 likes. Maybe we'll get more. And we work. like you back. Yeah, yeah we, we like do. You back. <laughs> love you. Yeah, yeah we love you. Um, and uh, you could subscribe to our channel. There's the button for that in the lower right hand corner of the uh, feed. Um, if you could spread the word about what we're doing. We're live streaming until 10 o'clock tonight. Ooh, there was a ding. I wonder what that is. Um, we're, uh, so please, like, come hang out with us virtually online and tell all your friends and your neighbors and uh, tweet them, email them, call them, knock on their door, stop them in the street, tell them to hop on YouTube to Classic Sheep's uh, Theater Society's YouTube channel and... Um, yeah, we'll do that. Ooh, that message was from Kat, because we're in the same room. <laughs> uh, ah, and there is another fabulous donation, a very generous donation. Um, uh, I'm, I'm not sure. Can you come here for a second, Kat? Can yeah, I say something? Because I just want to make sure that Oh, wow. Yeah. Thank you, Lexa. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, I thought you would like to see that. That's oh, so that's generous. So awesome. And she's also been Lexa Doy, who is an amazing actor on the Aurora Tea Garden Mysteries, Baxter Galactic. She's on everything. On everything. And uh, she also tweeted support to all of her followers on the, the Twitter oh. machine. So thank, oh, thank you for you that support so as well much. as for supporting our campaign. That's really awesome. And your generous donation and all of you who have donated, it helps to ensure that women are having a place on stage, wow, so awesome. uh, Send her text backstage, me. stage adjacent, <laughs> <laughs> floating above <laughs> stage, <laughs> that their, uh, their voices, their talents, their skills can be shared with all of you and yeah. with each other. So yeah. thank you. This yeah. really, really helps yeah. in a big, big way. Yeah. And thank you for spreading the word too. Yeah. We really appreciate that. It goes so far. So thank you. And this book, I know. This, this like, book oh. is so in line with our mandate of, of this classic chic. Yeah. 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 Like, well, can you do another shoot up to the camera itself? Because it's, um, you have to walk up, have to go walk okay. right up to go. Uh, because it's, it Tell me, is this good or not good? Um, and, and bring it down, down a little bit. Down, down a little bit. Down. Oh, yeah. that's right. Yes. Ooh, I like it there. There it is. But if you want to. Marilyn see. Norrie. By Marilyn Norrie. <laughs> By Marilyn, Marilyn Norrie. Yeah. <laughs> like, extraordinary. Yeah. An amazing, amazing project and, and amazing that you actually now have it in something that people can interact with. Well, it's a funny way. thing because I, I kind of went at it backwards and I'm sure that you know this <laughs> like for projects. It, I I said in the um, invitation to the launch, it's 14 years gestation and three years hard <laughs> yeah, labor. Always. <laughs> but this was That's a like, brief birth. Right? It was. It was a breach birth. Like I <laughs> came, oh it, this oh came God. back. <laughs> Write some stories. Yeah. And then then people said, oh, I need a workshop. And so 
no, just write it. You know, then I have to think, okay, okay. workshop. How do, we do yeah. workshop. Yeah. How do we do a workshop? Yeah. Oh, let's do some exercises, yeah. you know, and yeah. things like that. Yeah. And then it was, oh, write a book. And so I'm not even talking on the, like, I have to write it all out. So what I ended up doing in the book was writing a lot of the, the conversations that we had in when we were sharing our stories. And then I put in a whole lot of more questions. They, they ended up being writing prompts, you know, that have come up um, in, uh, you know, how does your mom, what's your mother's relationship with money? What's your relationship with sex? What did she tell you about sex? What kind of birth control did she use? And it's not to shame anybody by the questions. It's yeah. like those questions, we talk amongst ourselves about those things, or well, we did, you know, a while ago. <laughs> but um, they were, and they were big concerns to think of our mothers actually having to have Oh God, I don't want to get pregnant. Oh God, I do want to get pregnant. Those same conversations is um, another thing in the step of seeing her as a human being who, who had different kinds of expectations and different kinds of rules that she grew up with. Mm -hmm. The rules have been changing so much in this uh, century. No, in the 20th century. Since two, uh, in the 21st century, oh my God. Immigration, the internet, this cross-cultural communication, the, the, the status uh, levels, the status quo mm. of countries, cultures all over the world are changing. And yet mothers are the ones who, or women are the ones who are building the next generation. Did the rules your mother taught you work for you mm -hmm. did they work for her yeah mm -hmm. we are still teaching you know there what are the rules that we're going to have for the future the, to tell the kids about this is how you live this is how you get along this is what you do when you're having to do this when you've got people from different cultures we've had that in canada for like ever that's that's everybody it's a mixture in every single part of our country. A lot of people forget that. They, they keep thinking, no, they're fine. It's these new ones. And it's like they said that you know, forever, since forever. Whoever the new ones are, they don't want to know about it. Well, what if you knew the mother's story of that person? Yeah. Then they are not an entity. Then they are a person. Then they are someone who is, what if you could tell your mother's story to someone and say, this is, this is where we, I come from. And then you go, well, this is where I come from. You will find very, a lot of similarities. You will find a lot of differences. It, the, we, our culture says that we're in a race with one another, that we have to compare ourselves to each other as to whether we're winning or falling behind or doing all those things. When you look at each life as an individual path, you go, oh my God, we are in completely different races. There's the finish line is in a different place for each person. How can we, and we as actors do this, we can find that person who is a loathsome character and find life and validity, bring that person to life. I, I seem to have a, a niche for playing um, psychopaths. I don't know. <laughs> so, I mean, <laughs> sociopaths and evil women. I say that they're just, you know, hormonally misunderstood. Yeah. But, you know, other people say different things. Do you have someone who has a, a disability, someone who has a mental illness, someone has addictions, they have abuse, they have all of these things. Do we say they're not normal? No. We say they're all normal. There's no normal. We as actors can kind of revel in. You ever do crack walker? You know, you yeah. can revel in that kind of oddness of living. Mm. Um, most I love of, that play. most women's characters, the female characters, are just so boring. They're they're just like from one layer of society, one outlook from society, and that kind. And it's like I, I don't relate. 
you have to look at each person for whatever it is that we have to deal with as individuals and certainly what our mothers had to deal with. It's safer to talk about one generation back because in a lot of cases, we know what the end of the story is. Mm. Um, you know, you got an idea what the end of the story is. We don't know what the end of the story is for us. Um, so I don't know. Don't, don't, why write about it? <laughs> <laughs> but you got to write. I, I think the people have got to see mental illness and addictions as being part of a really, really great story to tell mm. rather than a judgment against. As a moral failing. As a moral yeah. failing. It's like got nothing to do with morals at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and the more stories you read, the more you can see that. Or just like strange circumstances. Somebody experiencing the death of eight people, you know, within a year. Mm. You say, well, that's not normal. Well, there is no normal. Some people go their whole lives and no one important dies. And it's like and then they, they start getting weird because they don't think, I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah. Someone, you know, it's like, wow, that's your story. Then this is this story. And then this is a story. So it's not about achievements. It's about what's the story. I like the individualization, of it, like the, the down to the person to person story, because it's so easy to get wrapped up in that. This is the big story of our society, but it's made up of those little stories. Yeah. yeah of the, the person that's caught up in the bigger uh, currents in, in our society. Um, but it kind of reminds me of like humans of New York, you know, like, yeah, I, very like much he's, so. he's got a snapshot of a person, a little story of them. And so often, like if, if that person's problem can be solved by a connection or, or money, like, like they get right connected to it like, yeah. because it's, it, it's not that it humanizes it, it individualizes it. And I yeah. can't solve everybody's problem, but I can solve that person's yeah. problem. Yeah. And, well, and we don't even have to. Set. We don't even have to solve them. We can just, you know, compassion. Just it's just witnessing. Just say, tell them. Yeah. Do we have all of the buttons? I know. Uh, Nancy, uh, Nancy ones. Nancy took one. So, 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 Marilyn can choose one. Yeah. What What am I looking at? Uh, that's the. That's, that's a cult. Cult. Here's an, the classic sheet button. Yeah. For each of our guests and our generous donors, oh. uh, donating a copy of this book to one of our donors, um, oh. we would like to gift you with uh, one that. of your choosing. Which I'll, one? I will have that one. A classic oh, yeah. sheet button. Oh, Yay. Yeah. With the birds. With the bird. Very so nice. that you can pin that on and share the word. Yeah, and I certainly can. Yeah. Classic the chicks. bird is the word. Chicks. Yes. Not. Well, it goes both ways. I know. We're sheep chicks. We're sheep chicks. Classic sheep. Oh, chicks. So what's next on your program? Uh, next on our program, and actually pretty soon, uh, we're going to have um, uh, Kellyanne Woods, who mm -hmm. is a local fabulous actor, but also <laughs> is the owner of Distillery. Yeah, Gillespie Distillery. So she's going to come over. Is she uh, having drinks? Yeah. Yes. She's going to she's she's going to <laughs> you can say, Marilyn, can you say? Can you please say? Because you're so fun. Oh, I am. Okay, oh great. God. Yeah, well, we now that I've got so much sugar and booze with me, I'm going to get like, <laughs> yeah, you can just say, we love you. Oh, good. Last Thank time you. I worked with Marilyn, we were doing Mackers in the park. Really? Oh, that's Without right. Problems. Without <laughs> any that's kind of a permit. Yeah. It, it was, it was quite so interesting. Well. Yeah. Um, uh, um, just down off of Cornwall, we were actually had to go across Cornwall, had to bring the the audience oh. on both sides. And there was one night when it rained so hard, we did every, all the lighting was with with uh, flashlights. Oh my goodness, really? Yeah, and yeah. it was cool because it was so gorilla, you know, yeah. uh, in that way. Um, yeah, I think the police got called a couple times. Yeah, because really? they didn't really like the howling in the park. The fact was losing his mind kind of at about when the sun was going down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so people were wondering, you know, <laughs> is, there is everything okay? Is there something okay? Is there really okay? Did How many performances did you Oh, well, like only four or something. Yeah. yeah, something like that. So, and, and but it was October. Yeah, yeah or late September or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, so the sun was going down. Or the earlier, sun went, yeah, earlier. earlier it was. 
through when the sun, when it was dark. Right. So by the time of our final performance, it was like dark from beginning to end. We really figure out where the flashlights were going. The witches were swinging in the swings in the park. Oh God, and I love it. it. I love it. That was fun. Guerrilla theater. Yeah. Yeah. We were a bit under rehearsed, but. <laughs> but Marilyn, there was a show you did that I missed. And it I, was fabulous. I'm very embarrassed that I missed it. <laughs> but I did hear that you were naked on stage. I was. Yes. What show? I was. Oh, was. Which show? oh my God. It's in the Free, are you listening? I am listening. Okay. You're like fully naked. Like, what did you do? Like, did you run on? No, everybody was, everyone had their moment of naked. Oh, really? Yeah. Sure, that was Chelsea, right? Chelsea Harberland. Chelsea Harberland. That oh, was, really? um, the. Uh, oh, Killer Joe? No. No. Um, it's. Okay, I, I, I can picture it. I can picture it. Was it with her theater company? Yes. 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 It's a and zoo. It, was that that, it's a and zoo. it was, it was uh, that ridiculous they, space. A ridiculous place that's now a hole in the ground. Was that Renegade? Renegade. Renegade. The, 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 the Vancouver Playhouse yeah. thing. Yeah. And they built a white box. Yeah. Um, and it and it's it's not left. Oh my God, isn't it? Can they can look up the past productions? Yeah. I think the internet will yeah. help us. The internet yes, will help please. us. You know, I, I just remember, I like, look it up. It I can't please. believe you missed it, Michelle. Like, what's wrong with you? Things like that. Oh, I, and my, they didn't even know about my character. So the audience sat on four sides. Mm -hmm. And um, the walls oh, completely so held in yeah. everybody. Oh. And um, then, the, so then there was the white space in the middle where, which was the stage. Oh, wow. And, um. Oh, there's an awful lot of vowels. I can almost just, this is terrible that I just can't see them. No, I know. Anyway, I don't, I don't. it's in an office and yeah. competition is fierce. There yeah. we go. Yeah, that's that's, that's right. the name of the book. That's right. Of the, and of the play. And Sebastian, fierce. Sebastian wrote it. Sebastian oh, wrote, wrote it. it. Yeah. And there was like some blood, right? A top, total blood. That was, was the show, right? What was it called? Competition is fierce. Was that at the show? Oh, yeah. It, I it, it, it was shocked. Yeah, yeah. 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 shocked downstairs. Chelsea wrote. Ch Chelsea directed it. So they had the office. Yeah. Andrew Wheeler was the was the boss. Yeah. And in this world, um, when you were um, wanting to uh, get a promotion, yeah. then you had to oh, no. gladiator <laughs> style have a, a a battle with the person. So they made all of the they made the gladiator costumes out of uh, neckties that were oh. and, and uh, all the blades were made out of um, office equipment. Oh, that's great! And nobody even knew about my character. I was the real boss, right? And of um, course, yeah. And and so I just they and they everybody come and set up the the the. A set and then leave and I just kind of walked in with a rope and then and then sat down and took off the rope and it was because my whole back was covered in scars oh my is that I had scars all over my body because I was one of those um, feral uh, gladiators so that you had survived I had survived I wish that we had had the scars Stronger, darker, oh. bigger, um, but that's what it was. So then that was, and I was the first person to be naked. So they were like, <laughs> oh my. that was like scene five. So everybody was sitting there thinking that they knew what was going on. And then this brand new character comes in and takes her clothes off. And then I had to stand up and do Tai Chi. So naked? No, no, I just put my robe on. Because somebody, because Andrew comes in and I have a business meeting with him while I'm doing Tai Chi, trying to be standing in my life. But it was, it was, do you know Carlo Marx? He was in it and he was the, he was the contender. So it, there was the, oh, and Chris, um, not Chris Anderson, Chris, oh, anyway, he was the other guy. They were competing for the same job, um, and uh, so then they were doing this psychological warfare against each other in, in different scenes and stuff. But there was one scene where, where Carlo was like uh, his character, was, like he was sitting at his desk first thing in the morning, yeah. and um, and uh, 
when when Chris comes in, says, "Oh, you're here. Yes, I'm here." And you know, joyful, joyful, and stuff like that. And stands up, and he's got no pants on. Oh, yeah. oh my God! But this, the, the, the audience was like right there. So we had this thing where I had to go over. Would you like a cup of coffee? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And they go over to the guy who's you poured a cup of coffee, and we called them the dick seats because there were people that were sitting right there by the coffee maker. I just yeah. like. Oh, oh my god. Shit. And they'd be just it's like dead right in, the in, the in the face. Yeah. So half the yeah. half the fun of the show. Yeah. I like I never saw that. I never thought like people didn't see me because there were no okay. window space. It was like completely sealed in uh, right. by this by the mm -hmm. the walls. Right. The door the wall would move and someone would make an entrance. Um but the we a, half the fun of the show was watching the audience on the other side and how they were reacting to things. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they, everybody was absolutely in participating in the show at the same time. And then, we, then there was a big gladiator battle at the end, um, which had some really fierce um, uh, choreography. It was it was quite brutal. And Rachel. Rachel Karen was in that as well, mm. and uh, so it was. That was what uh, Chelsea was really like doing was she was doing Killer Joe and you know shows like that where it was like blood and fights um, and and real story stuff happening right beside the audience. Yeah, yeah, amazing. I, really, I had people yeah, who didn't come to the, see the show yeah. because they didn't want to see me, me naked. And I said, well, it's not about that. I had so much fun. Because how did the show with yeah. Chelsea and, called uh, uh, the North Point? The North Point. Yeah. Oh, and I don't know. I didn't. For our next. Chelsea directed it. It was so great. Who wrote that? Uh, oh, it's been you. It's been the longest time. Sorry about the, the North Point. The North, North, North Plan. Plan. It was in like this small little office space, right? Cass? It was a found space. We used uh, found space. two different uh, adjoining offices, and then we did Act One in one space. Yeah. And then we moved to the second space after the information for us too. Yeah. And how many people in the audience? About sixty. Oh, that's nice sized audience. I mean, but but there was Jason Wells. Not too much. Jason Wells, but we were like we were like one single file in a uh, yeah around, around the, the perimeter, perimeter of the office. office. Yeah. Fifty. <laughs> Maybe but it was yeah. yeah. Was that before or after competition is fierce? Do you know? I don't. It was after. It was after. after? Yeah. yeah. It was with um. Who were the guys in it? Daniel Martin yeah. and uh, David. Mont. Yes, Dave Mont. And, and, yeah. and, and Paul. 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 Paul Hebert. Paul. Yeah. Herbert. Yeah. Herbert. Yeah. yeah. Fabulous. Yeah. And and um. Jesse the enemy right now. Right, and, Jenny Jenny right Jenny now. Yeah. and uh and Genevieve, no, Jen Griffin. Jen Griffin is doing that too. And there's Genevieve and you are you are thinking of a woman? No, nope, there's another there's another, another Oh yeah, I came uh, in on the second act, right? No. Nope. Was yes. somebody who came yes, in just came on the second, second act. act? He was fantastic. And he's amazing and I am gapping. Gapping? Gapping in terms of remembering names. Having a senior moment. Okay. I don't think the word is gapping. I think yeah, I'm having a gap in my memory. Okay. I'm gapping. Okay. I might have to steal that. <laughs> so that you guys don't have a gap in your memory. Yeah. yeah. This is uh, a reminder of why we're here and why we're doing this crazy live stream for 12 hours today. Oh, I'm actually 12. And we'll wait for her to pause. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're uh, raising fun uh, funds for Classic Chic Theater Society. So if you would like to donate, and any amount is welcome. If you can afford $5, thank you. We, we appreciate that. All you have to do is uh, make a donation to our PayPal account. Where is that information? Just look at the description underneath this video. There's a bunch of text there. Um, you might have to click more to get all the information. And there's a link to our PayPal account. So just click that, and that will take you to our PayPal account. You don't have to have a PayPal account yourself to make a donation. Um, but maybe you don't have a credit card, and you want to make a donation by e-transfer. Really easy. 
send it to info at classicsheep.ca. That's also in the description. So if you need a reminder about how to spell all of those things, it's right there for you and you can send you, us an e-transfer and we would most appreciate it. Oh, let me see the picture again of what we look like. There we are. <laughs> oh my goodness, look yeah. at that. There we are. There we are. I was gonna take a little look-see. I don't know if it's the latest information. Well, the, based on the information that I have so far, our efforts, thanks to you generous donators, um, we have raised $1,265 today. So in three hours, fabulous. Yeah, I know, it's very- In the middle of the afternoon or the evening. It's fantastic. Really it's really, and it's really, really appreciated. We, uh, we so appreciate that. Um, and up next, we're gonna have Kelly Ann Woods. She'll be joining us shortly. Yeah, she's on her way down from Gillespie's My Spirit. Fantastic. Fantastic. Where she's is going to teach us how to make some drinks, so that will be brilliant. What do you, are you going to pick up the camera and move to do fine? Yeah, stuff? we're going to move a little. She's going to be set up here. We should clear that space yeah. to have her go in there, and then we will uh, watch as she where teaches is, us. How where is Crossby's Distillery? They are based up in Squash. Wow. Yeah. So she's driving down to have a the tiny. Where's the book? There, there it is. The Yay. Yeah. The thing. About to be a little more. What is that? Oh, that oh. sounds like the precursor to a donation. Thank you. Who's that? Charlotte. Oh, ah. thank you so appreciate it. Thank you so much. That's very, very kind. Um, yeah, it uh, it's it really is very meaningful uh, to have us to sit here do nothing all day and you just give us money. <laughs> I think the business model. It's like you have a whole bunch of girlfriends sitting there and going, no, yeah. yes. no, and then they all write in answers and uh, yeah. it's this cool. time of the year where there's just so many things that everyone expects you to show up at and we just couldn't yeah. add to that. So we give you the choice, right? Because tomorrow night we are doing our Chicks at the Mic 2 at Yuck Yucks, so we are excited to have an amazing array of stand-up comics who will be there to give up their time and talent to help us raise money as well. Another opportunity for women to be seen yeah. and women's voices to be heard. All of these comics have written their own material. Good. Um, one of them that we're especially proud of is uh, Christina, our fearless leader here at Classic Sheep. Uh, she'll be doing one of her sets. Yeah, we're so excited. Yay! And she's there she is. Really, really, you see her? really oh, yeah. funny. A bit more there. Really she is. funny. <laughs> so <laughs> hilarious. Super Ooh, excited. You want to get yeah. across here? Yeah. yeah. And, see. and um, yeah, so so we crafted this weekend, so it's introvert extrovert. You can hang out in your stretchy eating pants at home and still tune in and join us, or you can come up and actually mix and mingle with us live and in person tomorrow night. So we hope that you will do both. But she be great for either one. And Charlotte said, now I've got that song in my head. What can I say except you're welcome? Uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. So appreciate that. Yeah, stay with us uh, until 10 o'clock tonight. We're going to have rotating guests yeah. coming by. And uh, from uh, Kellyanne coming here soon. Uh, we've got Annie Arbuckle, who was in a show with me recently. Oh, She'll good. be stopping by. Um, a little later on, some ladies that are putting on the show in a couple of weeks. Uh, the Dreamer examines his pillow. Echo Ooh, Studios. Yeah, and they'll be coming by. Ooh, so we've yeah. got a whole bunch of different guests joining us here today. Oh, so, so keep tuning in. Keep telling people to tune in. Uh, you can share the link to this live stream uh, with your followers on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, in real life. <laughs> and we're going to start posting a list of all of our uh, fabulous door prizes. Well, door prizes. You're not here at the door. Our <laughs> fabulous couch prizes. Couch um, prizes. Couch prizes. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Um, that you will be able to probably going to give them away starting after six o'clock, so that there's a critical mass of people finding out about them and knowing that they can turn tune in. But uh, we'll start to post what they all are. Um, we had uh, Nancy Kerr here earlier, and she was oh, talking about giving away nice. an amazing private yoga session as well as a one-on-one -on -one acting coaching session with Brian Markington, which will be amazing. We'll actually yeah. probably post his YouTube as well so you can see if you're getting coached by oh. him. It's amazing. You yeah. will All recognize right. him when you post see him. Post his IMDb yeah. is what I meant to say. Yeah. Um, 
And uh, and there's a bunch of other prizes. We have a, a wonderful water bottle from the drama class at White Rock, which Michelle Partridge has donated for us. To Fabulous. Have, which is awesome. And we have, I know we have some this book's gift certificates that we'll be giving away. We have Marilyn's book that's yeah. actually the hard copy of it. So there's a bunch of stuff coming up. So please keep watching and please spread the word. And if you have been with us to this point, you've probably donated and we're so grateful for that. So thank you. I, Jeff, love the suggestion. Next time you do this sort of thing, you need an old timey telethon board to show donation totals. <laughs> Absolutely. This is just our, our first uh, go at this. And with that, who's Jeff? Oh, Jordan. Oh, oh Karina is yeah. Jeff. Yeah, Karina is Jeff. Um, this is just the, the first of many. So, uh, which brings us to the poll. Do we still have a poll about what we're going to call the next one? Is that oh, what we still yeah. have? Let's see we have some where that is at. Um, where is my. Uh, I, did, did you, you break it? Total? Did, did you, you just break it? it? No, I didn't break it. Stop fighting. You guys are always fighting. Yeah, that's thing. right. It's Kat. She's always fighting. Wow. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> You heard her yell at me off the top she of the day, She did. She ran off the top like that. How you started? started. Yeah. I was and, just getting clarity. And to be fair, to be fair, speaking in fact, I told you. Thank you. That was on fat time. Okay. That time. I own. What's yet? What's yet? I'm, I'm trying to remember how to go back to that. We have 60 su subscribers. Look at that. Um, Do you yeah. know how many people are watching? Uh, yes, it, it jumps around all the time. We've got 10. We want to double that. Yeah. Come on, we're going for 20. Yeah. Tell your peeps. Yeah. We yeah. go up and down. I know some people have like, and and we understand as well. People have been floating in and out. Like I know yeah. Scott, who was messaging with us earlier, he had to go and exactly. and, uh, and spend time with the grandkids. Should we do something provocative? <laughs> Raise the numbers. <laughs> We've already had people requesting disrobing, and so we came back see? from that. That was kind of early. Yeah, you know, you already know. have disrobed. I have showered. I have, you know, you do all that there stuff. Are. There's my cards. There's my cards. Okay, so uh, the cards. Let's see. Um, oh, okay. So you can interact with the polls that we've set up. What is the poll? If you uh, hover over the uh, YouTube screen is that descriptive enough no me? the actual frame not the screen because the screen is the whole thing frame. Your, uh, like the image the image of our broadcast if you hover over the broadcast as opposed to the whole screen which is your entire the top right corner there's an eye with the I'll circle click it where you see click us it. not the word click it and when you click that you'll see some questions that we have for you one of them being what should we call our next stay at home yes. fundraiser so doing this again we had uh, options were Chickapalooza, the coop, like the nest, introverts ball. Those are just four. We might come up with some more ideas and um, and create a new poll. Um, but so far, we've only had two interactions with this poll, and it was one for Chickapalooza and one for the coop. You can't go on there, Kat. Why well, not? What you're doing? I, you don't see anything. Oh, I see it all. I see it all. Oh, so my vote doesn't count. Are you trying to disenfranchise me? <laughs> uh, just, just disempower, oh. not disenfranchise. You can still Next vote. Next, we're going to into the, in the, the space ah, so that yeah. only this yeah, side. Are. What's, oh, that, oh. what's that Finnish word? Ooh. Or there's a Finnish word. What is it? Uh, sorry, uh, Sarah, if now she's come to that point. She's asking for headstands. I can do that. I can do that. What? I can do that. I can do a headstand or a handstand. No. Because no, something's no, going to break no, down. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah it's fine. No, no. It's fine. Uh, this is a really good way, by the way, to entertain <laughs> children. Charlotte <No>. says, <laughs> the coop sounds like the supermarket. Okay, where can I go? Wow. Like wow. Nowhere. You could nowhere. Nowhere. Oh. nowhere can the headstand happen. It can totally happen. Right there. No. No. And then move the camera. We'd also like to thank Charlotte for her donation. Thank you, Thank Charlotte. Thank you, Charlotte. Thank you very, very much. Okay, we well, so appreciate that. Oh, I can't. Listen, where's the key? I'm <laughs> Lovely. Very much appreciate There's a Finnish word so for sitting at home movie. in your underwear getting drunk by yourself. For what? And for people, and it's so I, I offer, I offer. I know yes. it is, but it's Finnish and for depression. <laughs> and it's a, it's a thing now. I'm, oh yeah, I'm, I'm going to. Here goes, this is happening. Think, no, it's oh, not. It's, oh. No. Oh. oh but is the camera on it? It's a handstand. Oh, the light is through. Well, she just did it. Yeah, she did it. She did it. I know, but are you in the camera? She did it. Oh, no, that's why I chose the wall, because she's nervous. She's 
can't so think about it. Like fridge. There. <laughs> so this is technically a handstand. It's very beautiful. Wow. I would do a handstand, <laughs> but I really won't be seen, and I need a pillow for that because my little head. No. Um, okay. I think I had, I think Sarah I had says hurrah. Here's, 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 so it's here's all on you, oh. Sarah. It's all. Oh, now you. she's doing a headstand. Okay. I will. I will. <laughs> oh, we've got the finish word is. I don't know how to say it. Wow, that was really close to being really wrong. Look at this. Look at this. Hey. Yeah, they are. They're, they're more controlled, right? They're, they're more controlled. Yeah. That's, um, I just like to say that that is <laughs> gymnastics training from when I was about five is when I learned how to do that. Wow. I never lost it. Yeah. Nice. Ooh, can't do Sarah anything. says, wow, impressive. $20 going in the pot. Yay! Yay! Thank, Thank you. you.